Hi guys, I'm Jack Wells, I'm one of the instructors here at Yarn Martial Arts Academy and today I'm going to be talking through my journey and getting to black belt. So about 14 years ago, when I was about 7, my mum was flicking through pages of like one of those school catalogue videos, things, videos, and um, she found a advert for Yarn Martial Arts Academy. And my mum was like looking at me, looking at the, the thing, looking at me, looking at the thing, knowing that I needed improvement in my memory and my concentration wasn't very good and my confidence was non-existent. So she decided to sign me up, hoping that it would improve in these areas. Fast forward 14 years, me being 21, not sure if those maths adds up, but those are the ages. And I would say that all three of those areas have improved massively. It's, it, it's done an absolute wonder on me personally, doing martial arts. Not only in terms of those three parts of my life, like confidence, memory, and concentration, but also in terms of one of my best mates growing up I met through the academy both pretty much all of my mates growing up I've met because I came here M maybe not directly but indirectly in some way I've met all my closest mates from home through the academy so in terms of sociality the doing martial arts has really helped me gaining friends that I would say are lifelong friends really and then when I was about 12-ish, I, I got up the grades, I got to my black belt, which really did, really help my confidence and really did help my concentration and my memory, needing to remember all the forms and all the combinations and the concentration of having that self-control to be able to stand still when I need to stand still, doing what I need to do when I need to do it, that sort of stuff. And I got to black belt when I was about 12-ish. 11, 12-ish. I started seeing all my mates starting to help out in the classes, in the lower grade classes. And I was like, I'll give that a go. Mainly just because my friends were doing it. It wasn't a particular massive interest that I had myself. It was just more like, it looks like fun and my mates want to do it. So I'll give it a go. And I absolutely fell in love with it. So I started off just assisting, instructing, just starting off by helping out the lead instructors, helping out the main instructors. And slowly over time, I was given a bit more control over lessons, a bit more. It might have been started off, got, can you take this kid to the side and just run through a pattern with them? I was like, yeah, sure. Can you take these, this belt group, all of the belts group, and go through their current belt pattern, make sure they're all to the same level? I was like, yeah, sure. All right, Jack, see you in about 50, see you in about 45 minutes, you're taking the session today. Whoa, what? I can remember clearly when the first time I took a class, uh, it was because the head instructor at the time was, um, well, she just started the class, did the warm up, and went, Jack, do you mind taking this next section of the class? I need to go grab myself a drink. I was like, yeah, sure. And for the rest of the session, I was just like, when's he coming back? When's he coming back? And I got to the end of the lesson, bowed them all out, but they went back into the family room. And he came in and was just like, oh, good job there, mate. So you can teach a lesson. At which, which, at which point I was like, yeah, I probably could do this a bit more. I, I probably, which gave me another amount of confidence that I didn't have before because my, my confidence before starting martial arts was absolutely like abysmal. I couldn't talk in front of anyone really. Like I couldn't even speak to my, grand, my own grandparents that's how bad my confidence in myself was and then and now coming into instructing I was still a bit apprehensive I was still a bit nervous and then having that little kick kind of pushed me in the right direction and then from there I started properly instructing instructing like officially I guess you'd say from the age of 16 um, still going through my my uh, still going through my grades in choice, still going through my martial arts journey, starting another style of martial arts, starting my um, kickboxing journey, 
started doing weapons training as well, which was a lot of fun. I love training with weapons. It just adds another element to it, I guess you'd say. And then on top of all of that, I also started doing competitions when I was about 15, 16 age-ish, which was really interesting, really fun. I started going to another gym to train in Taekwondo, which is a different style to what we do here. So it was a completely different scenario. It was traditional training. It was traditional everything, which was very different to what I'm used to here, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then we did a couple of national level competitions, me and the team that I was with, which was a lot of fun. And then I came third place in the national level, which allowed me to move on to the international level, where I received the first place in my Taekwondo forms at the age of 17. So that was a year or two into my competition career. And then, unfortunately, when I moved to university, I lost, I didn't have the time to still go to the, to my coaches, my competition coaches, to keep up with that. But I still managed to come back to my academy, my home academy, and keep up my training and my teaching. As well as that, I was also, I also became the coach for the Muay Thai club at the academy, or the Thai boxing club at the academy. Meaning um, just more stuff that I've got on my belt, more tools that I've got in my arsenal. In, not only in terms of as a martial artist, but also in terms of n my knowledge of martial arts and different ways of thinking about specific techniques and specific moves and stuff like that. Which culminated by the end of my three years at university, towards the back end of university. It was actually about a week or two before the whole pandemic situation started, which end of my university career. I had my very first, and as of today, because of the situation that we're in, my only um, fight in an octagon in a cage, full full contact fight, which was a load of fun, which was really, really, which was really good. Again, it I, I didn't win the fight, unfortunately. However, it did just cement my, I do actually really enjoy what I'm doing here. It's not just a matter of a hobby. It's like, I do really enjoy this and I feel like I could be very good at this kind of situation. So coming back in the summer holidays, coming back here and getting back into the training and back, back into the um, teaching and all of that situation, it's just given me another boost of energy, I guess you'd say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Your Martial Arts Academy YouTube channel. Make sure you ring the bell to make sure you get notifications. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.